In this video, I'll show you how to install the Retrorama theme to RetroArch on your iPhone or iPad. I'm using an iPhone in this tutorial, but the instructions are the same for an iPad. This theme completely changes how RetroArch looks. It uses dynamic wallpapers, custom icons, and custom fonts. Before we begin, there's a few things I want to mention. This theme uses the XMB UI, which is meant to be used with a controller. Although you can use it with your touchscreen, it may take a bit getting used to. On the iPhone, the theme is best used with your phone in the horizontal position. And finally, the Retrorama theme is a little over a gig in size, so make sure you have enough space. Let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure you run RetroArch, add your ROMs, and import content under settings. This will organize all of your games. Now we'll download the Retrorama theme onto our phone. I created a shortened link to the official Retrorama GitHub page. Open the browser and go to bit.ly slash retro ra. I'll also have the full link in the description box. Press on the green code button and press download zip. Hit download. This is a big file so it may take a bit to download. To see the progress, press on the blue download icon next to the URL field. Hit downloads. Once it's finished downloading, hit the magnifying glass to see the file in the files app or open the files app and go to the downloads folder. You may need to hit browse and go to on my iPhone to see the downloads folder. Now unzip the file by pressing on the icon of the file. You should see a new folder. Open it and go into the Retrorama folder. Now press on the button with the three dots on the top right corner and press select. Select the font.ttf file and the PNG folder. Now press on the move button, which is the folder icon on the bottom center of the screen. Now we're going to open the RetroArch folder. You may need to hit browse and go to on my iPhone to see the RetroArch folder. Go to RetroArch, go to assets, go to XMB. Press on the button with the three dots on the top right corner and press new folder. Name it custom and hit done. It should take you into the custom folder. Now press move on the top right corner. All right, now press back to go back to the main Retrorama folder. Press on the button with the three dots and press select. Select the Retrorama Dynamics Wallpapers folder and press the move button, the folder icon on the bottom center of the screen. Press the back button two times to go back to the assets folder inside the Retrorama folder. Press on the button with the three dots and press new folder. Name it Wallpapers and hit Done. It should take you into the Wallpapers folder. Press Move. Now press back to return to the Downloads folder. And we could delete both the Retrorama zip file and the Retrorama folder since we no longer need it and it takes up a lot of space. Press on the button with the three dots, press Select and select both files and press the trash can icon on the bottom right of the screen. Now open RetroArch and go to settings on the bottom right corner, go to user interface, scroll down to menu, and press on it. Select XMB. Now we'll restart RetroArch. Manually force close RetroArch, and run RetroArch again. This is the XMB UI. It is designed to be used with a controller, however, you can use it with your touchscreen. To make it a little easier to use, go to Settings, User Interface, Appearance, Layout, and select Handheld. This will scale up the UI and make it a bit easier to use. Now you should be in the Appearance Settings. Scroll up and go to Color Theme. Select Background Image. Go to Background Opacity and scroll down and select 1.000. Make sure dynamic background is on. Now open icon theme, select custom, open font, go to XMB, custom, and open font.ttf. It should take us back to the settings page now. Scroll down to directory, 
open dynamic backgrounds. Press on a RetroArch folder, open an Assets folder, open a Wallpapers folder, and open a Retrorama Dynamic Wallpapers folder. Now press Use This Directory. And that's it. This is the Retrorama theme. In my next video, I'll show you how to add custom box art if you want to change the style of the art displayed for your games. Thanks for watching.